Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to knit this beautiful and easy sweater. I have three written pattern, include this woman sizes, extra small, go up to double XL, it's available on our blog at knitcrowaddict.com. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. And for today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you in size small, which is the one that I'm wearing right now. For this knitted sweater, I use Debbie Bless Dosi number no. 5 Boki Yarn. This one from Love Craft. In each ball, it has 82 yards. This one in color purple. And please check in the description below for all the details that you need to know how to make this sweater. And for size small, I use 780 yards. If you want to substitute yarn, just look for number 5 bulky yarn and check the gauge before you start. But I highly recommend using this yarn, it's super soft. And I use a pair of US 11 8mm knitting needles. I have my interchangeable knitting needles here. I have my 14 inches cord. This is not include the length of the needles. The length of the needle is 4 inches each needle. And this is going to be for the neckline ribbing and then the sleeves. I also have 22 inches cord and when I knit on the body part, I'm going to connect those cords together. If you don't have interchangeable needles, you're going to need a pair of 22 inches, then a pair of 36 to 40 inches for the body. And I use a pair of scissors, your needle, a marker. For this sweater, we're gonna start on the upper back part. So here is the front part, and here is the back. So we're gonna start casting on right here. It's gonna be upper back, then we're gonna knit back and forth until we reach the armpit, then we're gonna cut the yarn, and that is upper back. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to use a long tail cast on and make sure I have enough tail here. Then make slip knot. Use any method you prefer to make a slip knot. Then insert my needle into that slip knot. That is my first stitch. And I'm going to cast on 68 stitches total. Here's one, two, Three, four, five, six. I have 68 stitches on my needle here. Row one, we turn. It's gonna be the wrong side. We're gonna purl across. Row one is complete. Row two, we turn. It's gonna be the right side. We're gonna knit a cross. Row two is complete. Now row three, we turn, it is the wrong side, we're gonna pull across. Row three is complete. And here's what it looks like so far. So I can now repeat row 2 and row 3 16 more times and I will have a total of 35 rows start count from row 1. Okay, basically we knit on the right side and purl on the wrong side until we reach the end of row 35. So I can now keep doing that and I will be back when I'm at the end of row 35. I'm at the end of row 35. Next, we're going to cut the yarn and then leave all these stitches on hold. So I'm going to cut the yarn. 
I'm gonna use my in stop cable to lock this cord. You can also use a lifeline like a strap yarn and hold all these stitches. And now I'm done with the upper back side. Next, we're gonna make the upper front. We're gonna make one side at a time. I'm gonna make the upper right front first, the upper right when you wear it. So I'm gonna turn the where I cast on my upper back this way. Then I'm gonna pick up 21 stitches on the right side here at the cast on edge. And first I bring my new cord and then attach my needle in there. I'm gonna insert into the first stitch on the right corner here, the first V shape. Let me zoom in real quick. Right here, the first V shape. I bring my new yarn and hold it on the back. Then yarn over, and pull up a loop. Then next stitch is gonna be the next V shape here. Insert and then pick up the stitch. And then next V shape right here. And then next V shape right here. Next V shape right here. And then next V shape right here. Okay, I have 21 stitches here. This is just the setup row. Row one, we're gonna turn our work. It is the wrong side. We're gonna pull a cloth. Row two, we turn. It's the right side. We're gonna knit a cloth. Row three, we turn and we're gonna pull a cloth. Now for row four, we turn and then we're gonna knit into each stitch until we have one stitch left. And after that, we're gonna make an increase and I will show you. So just start knitting into each stitch until you have one stitch left. Okay, now I have one stitch left. We're gonna increase by making an M1L or make one left. So to do that, I'm gonna bring my right needle, pick up that strand of yarn running in between both stitches on each needle. So I pick up like that. Then I'm gonna use my left needle to insert into that strand of yarn from the front to the back. Then I'm gonna knit into the back loop. That is an M1L or make one left. Then I'm gonna knit the last stitch. At the end of row four, I have a total of 22 stitches across. I just increase one stitch right here. And for row five, we turn. Then we're gonna pull across. Then we turn, row six, we're gonna knit a cloth. Then we turn, for row seven, we're gonna pull a cloth. Then we turn, row 8 is going to be the increased row. We're going to knit until we have one stitch left, then we're going to make an M1L. 
So for now, we're just gonna knit into each stitch until we have one stitch left. Okay, I have one stitch left. Then we're gonna increase by making an M1L. So I'm gonna use my right needle to pick up that strand of yarn. Then I bring my left needle to insert from the front to the back. Then I'm gonna knit into the back loop. Then I'm gonna knit the last stitch. At the end of row eight, I have a total of 23 stitches. I just increase one stitch here. For row nine, we turn, we're gonna purl across. Then we turn, row 10, we're going to knit a cross. Oops, oops, <laughs> okay. Then we turn, row 11, we're going to purl a cross. Then we turn. Row 12, it's going to be the increased row. We're going to knit until we have one stitch left. Okay, now I have one stitch left. Then I'm going to increase by making an M1L. So I use my right needle to pick up that strand of yarn. Then insert my left needle into that strand of yarn from the front to the back. Then I'm going to knit into the back loop. Increase the same. Okay, then knit the last stitch. At the end of row 12, I have a total of 24 stitches across. I just increase one stitch right there. Then I'm going to cut the yarn. Leave a little bit of tail, just enough to weave in the end later. This is what the upper right front looks like. Next. We're gonna place all these stitches on hold. So I'm gonna keep it on my cord, but I'm not gonna do anything to these stitches. Then I'm gonna pick up a new stitches for my upper left front. For the upper left front, I'm gonna pick up the last 21 stitches on this side. So I'm gonna count the last 21 stitches on this side. Here's one, two, three, four, five, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Okay, then I insert my needle there. This is going to be for the neckline. And like I said, I'm not going to do anything to these stitches. So yeah, after I insert my needle there, I'm going to bring my new yarn. I hold it on the back, then I'm going to pull up my new loop. Okay, this is my first stitch. Let me zoom in real quick. Then I insert into the next V shape here. Then pick up stitch, insert into the next V shape, then pick up a new stitch. And then next V shape here, and then pick up. All right, I'm gonna keep doing this across, and I should have 21 stitches because I already count the stitches before I start picking up. Okay, this is just the setup row. Okay, now row one, we turn. It is the wrong side. We're gonna pull across. Okay, we turn, row 2, we're going to knit a cloth, it is the right side. Then we turn, row 3, we're going to purl a cloth. Then we turn. For row 4, it's going to be the increased row. 
So we're going to knit the first stitch. Then we're going to increase by making an M1R or make one right. So I'm going to use my right needle to pick up the strand of yarn running in between both stitches on each side, this strand. Then I'm going to use my left needle to insert into that strand of yarn from the back to the front, like that. Then I'm going to knit into the front loop, this one. Okay, just knit. That is an M1R. Then I'm going to knit into each stitch across. Okay, at the end of row 4, I have a total of 22 stitches across and I just increase one stitch right here at the beginning. Okay, for row 5, we turn, then we're gonna pull across. Okay, then row 6, we turn, we're gonna knit across. Row 7, we turn, then we're going to pull across. For row 8, we turn, then it's going to be the increased row. We're going to increase the same. We're going to knit the first stitch. Then we're going to make an M1R. So I'm going to use my right needle to pick up that strand of yarn. Then I'm going to use my left needle to insert into that strand of yarn from the back to the front. Then I'm going to knit into the front loop. Then I'm going to knit a cross. Okay, at the end of row 8, I have a total of 23 stitches across. I just increase one stitch at the beginning here. For row 9, we turn, then we're going to pull across. For row 10, we turn. Then we're going to knit a cross. Row 11, we turn. Then we're going to pull a cross. Row 12, we turn. It's going to be the increased row. So we're going to knit the first stitch. Then we're going to increase by making an M1R. So I use my right needle to pick up that strand of yarn. Then use my left needle to insert into that strand of yarn from the back to the front. Then knit into the front loop. Then I'm going to knit across. Oops. At the end of row 12, I have a total of 24 stitches across. I just increase one stitch at the beginning here. Next, for row 13, we're going to join the upper left front and then the upper right front together. Okay, here's what it looks like. I just finished row 12 on upper left front. Okay. So to join the upper left and upper right front, we're going to turn our work and this is going to be row 13, the pattern continue, okay? With my working yarn on my upper left front, I'm going to purl across the upper left front. Okay, then next, 
I gonna cast on 20 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, nineteen, twenty. Then I'm gonna pull across the upper right front. Okay, here's what it looks like at the end of row 13. And I have a total of 68 stitches across, including the stitches that we cast on here. And for row 14, we turn. Then we're gonna knit across. And for row 15, we turn, then we're going to pull across. Okay, here's what it looks like at the end of row 15. And now we're just gonna keep repeating row 14 and row 15 10 more times and you will have a total of 35 rows start count from row 1. It's just like knit on the right side, pull on the wrong side over and over and I will be back when I'm at the end of row 35. Okay now I have 35 rows here and here's what it looks like. This is upper front and here is the upper back. Next, we're gonna join the upper front and upper back together for the body part and we're gonna work in a round. So I have my working yarn on the upper front. I'm gonna knit all these stitches across, which is 68 stitches. And this is gonna be round one for the body part. So I'm just gonna knit every stitches. Okay, after I knit across the upper front, I'm gonna cast on one stitch and that is gonna be the underarm corner. So, one. Next, I'm gonna knit the upper back across. So I'm gonna bring this needle, the needle on this side, to insert on this side. Okay, then I'm gonna join this cord together. Okay, I use my connecting cord here. All right. I already knit across the upper front, then I cast on one stitch, right? And this cord joined together. Next, I'm just gonna knit every stitches on the upper back across. After I knit across the upper back, then I'm gonna cast on one stitch and this is gonna be the underarm corner. Then we kinda done with round one for the body part. Technically, we haven't joined in the round yet, but as soon as we knit the first stitch on round two, then we are joined in the round for real. This is upper back, this is the armhole here, and here another armhole that is not connected yet. And here is the front. Okay. At the end of round one, I have a total of 138 stitches around, including the cast on stitches on the underarm as well. So before we start round two, we're gonna place the beginning stitch marker so that way we know where is the beginning of the round. All right, round two, we're gonna knit every stitches around. From now on, it's 
gonna be very easy. Just knit every single round. Okay, I'm gonna keep knitting around round two. See, right now this side is connected. And yeah, I will be back when I'm at the end of round two. Okay, I'm at the end of round two and I have the same 138 stitches around. And for round three to round 46, I'm gonna repeat round two, which is knit every stitches around. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a little bit on round three. So I'm gonna move the marker from the left needle to the right needle. Then I'm gonna knit the first stitch. Then I'm gonna knit every stitches around. Super easy. Okay, let me show you what I have so far here. All right, here's what I have so far. If you want shorter sweater, make less repeat. And if you want a longer sweater, just keep repeating row two more. Just keep knitting more, okay? I'll be back soon. Okay, now I have 46 rounds. Here's what this look like. Then next round 47, we are gonna make the ribbing. So I'm gonna transfer the marker to the right needle. Then I'm gonna make a one by one twisted rib. So we're gonna knit the first stitch into the back loop. Like that. Then we're gonna pull the next stitch through the back loop. This is how we make one by one twisted rib. So we're gonna repeat this around. Knit the next stitch through the back loop. Pull the next stitch through the back loop. Knit the next stitch through the back loop. Pull next stitch through the back loop. And repeat. Knit the next stitch through the back loop. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Okay, then pull next stitch through the back loop. All right, I'm gonna keep repeating this around. Okay, I'm at the end of round 47 here. And for round 48 to round 56, I'm gonna repeat round 47. So basically, I'm gonna make the ribbing part 10 rounds, okay? So I'm gonna show you a little bit on round 48. I transfer the marker to the right needle. Then I'm gonna knit the first stitch through the back loop. Then pull the next stitch through the back loop. Repeat, knit the next stitch through the back loop. Pull the next stitch through the back loop. Keep repeating this around. I'm at the end of round 56 here. Next, I'm gonna buy off. I'm gonna buy off in patterns, so I'm gonna remove my marker. Then I'm gonna knit the first stitch into the back loop. Twist it, rip again, okay? That's my first stitch. Then I'm gonna pull the next stitch through the back loop. Now I'm gonna pass the first knit stitch over that second stitch like that make sure don't bite off too tight then i'm gonna repeat this around i'm gonna knit the next stitch through the back loop then i'm gonna pick up the stitch before that over that stitch okay and then i'm gonna pull the next stitch through the back loop. Then I'm gonna pick up the inside stitch up and over the outside stitch like that. Then knit the next stitch through the back loop. Then pick up the inside stitch up and over the outside stitch. 
purl the next stitch through the back loop then pick up the inside stitch up and over the outside stitch okay knit the next stitch through the back loop then pass the inside stitch up and over the outside stitch okay so next stitch is the purl so we're gonna purl into the back loop then pick up the inside stitch up and over the outside stitch okay then I gonna cut the yarn then put the yarn through then I gonna weave this in I bring my yarn needle insert the tail into my yarn needle then I'm going to insert my needle right here at the first bite off stitch, both loops, like that, and then pull through. Then I'm going to insert my needle back into the last bite off stitch, right at the middle there. Then pull through the back loop, go inside, like that. Then next, I'm just going to weave the end inside the sweater, and I will do that later. Yay! Okay, next we're gonna make the sleeve. I went ahead and make one side here. Here's what it looks like. The cuff. Okay, and we're gonna knit in the round. So I have my 22 inches circular knitting needles here, ready to go. And we're gonna knit on the right side. I'm gonna start at a new yarn right at this armpit corner right here then we're gonna pick up the stitches along the armhole edges i gonna pick up two stitches then i gonna skip one stitch then i gonna repeat pick up two stitches and then skip one stitch and keep repeating that around okay i'll show you don't worry so after i insert my needle into this corner i bring my new yarn i hold it on the back then i pick up that stitch. Here's my first stitch. Then I'm gonna pick up the next stitch right here. Okay, now I have two stitches. Then I'm gonna skip the next stitch here. Then insert my needle into the next stitch right here. Then pick up the next stitch right here. Then I skip the next stitch here. Then pick up the next stitch here. Then I pick up the next stitch here. Okay, after I pick up two stitches, I skip the next stitch. Then I insert my needle into the next stitch and then pick up the stitch right there. Then pick up the next stitch here. Then repeat, skip the next stitch, then pick up the next two stitches. Oops. Okay. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick up two stitches and then skip the next stitch, then repeat, pick up the next two stitches, then skip the next stitch. Doing that around. Okay, I pick up these stitches around the armhole edges and I have a total of 50 stitches around. If you have a couple more or couple less stitches, it's totally fine, but just make sure you have an even number of the stitches and also make sure you have the same amount of the stitches on both sides. And if you have a big gap around the underarm corner, feel free to add more stitches to avoid the big gap. And I forget to tell you, this is just the setup row for the sleeve. And now we're gonna start round one. Bring the beginning marker and then place it on the right needle. Then round one, we're gonna knit into each stitch around. Knit the first stitch. Then knit the next stitch. Knit the next stitch. 
and knit the next stitch. Keep knitting around. I'm at the end of round one here. Round two, we're gonna remove the stitch marker from the left needle to the right needle. Then we're gonna keep knitting. Basically, we're gonna keep knitting until we have 58 rounds total. So round two, we're just gonna knit every stitches. Super easy, no increase, no decrease. And yeah, I'm gonna keep knitting until I have 58 rounds. If you want shorter sleeve, make less rounds. If you want a longer sleeve, feel free to add more rounds. And yeah, I'll be back soon. I'm at the end of round 58 here for my sleeve. Then for round 59 to round 66, we're gonna make one by one twisted rib. So I gonna knit the first stitch into the back loop. Then I gonna purl the next stitch through the back loop. Then we gonna repeat this around. Knit the next stitch through the back loop. Purl the next stitch through the back loop. And repeat. Knit the next stitch through the back loop. Purl next stitch through the back loop. Keep repeating this around. Okay, now for round 60, we replace the marker to the right needle. Then we're gonna make exactly the same as round 59. So we knit the first stitch through the back loop, pro next stitch through the back loop, and then repeat, knit the next stitch through the back loop, pro next stitch through the back loop. Repeat, knit the next stitch through the back loop and pro the next stitch through the back loop. All right, we're gonna keep repeating this pattern until we reach the end of round 66. And after I reach the end of round 66, I'm gonna buy off in pattern. We're gonna buy off exactly the same as the bottom part of the sweater here. And after that, I'm gonna come back and show you how to knit around the neckline edge. Okay, now I'm done with my sleeves. Next, I'm gonna knit around the neckline edge. For the neckline edge, I'm gonna use the same needles that I use for my sleeves. And you can start, pick up the stitches anywhere you prefer. I'm just gonna start it right at the middle part on the neckline on the back side here. Let me zoom in real quick. I'm gonna start right here. I insert my needle there. I bring my new yarn and hold it on the back, then pick up that first stitch. Then the next stitch right here. Insert the needle and then pick up the next stitch. And the next stitch right here. And next stitch right here. Next stitch right here. Next stitch right here. All right, I'm gonna keep doing this until I reach the shoulder. Then I will show you how I pick up the stitches along the stockinette stitch edges. Okay, I'm gonna pick up one stitch at the shoulder seam here just to avoid the big gap. If you need to pick up more stitches, feel free to do so just to avoid the big gap. Okay, no big deal. Then on the stockinette edges here, we're gonna pick up two stitches and then skip one stitch. Then we're gonna repeat that. I'm gonna pick up the first stitch right here and the next stitch right here. Then I skip the next stitch, then pick up the next stitch right here. Oops, okay. Then pick up the next stitch right here. Then skip the next stitch and then pick up the next stitch right here. 
pick up the next state right here and then skip the next state now we can pick up the status on this part the bottom neckline edge and now I just gonna add a couple more stitches around this corner because I don't want to have a big gap so I just gonna insert my needle right here and then pick up a stitch oops cool all right next stitch I gonna pick up right here like that I think it's look good maybe but I think so <laughs> So next stitch right here, next stitch right here, next stitch right here. All right, here's what it looks like so far. You can keep picking up the stitches around the neckline edge until the end. And now, when you reach the edges on this side, you can do exactly the same that you did on this side. All right, I will be back soon. Okay, I pick up the stitches around the neckline edge. This is just the setup row. Okay, so I have a total of 66 stitches around. If you have a couple more or a couple less stitches, it's totally fine. But just make sure that you have an even number of the stitches because we're going to make a one by one twisted rib. So anyways, Round one, I'm gonna place the beginning marker to the right needle. Then I'm gonna make one by one twisted rib. We need the first stitch through the back loop. Then we purl the next stitch through the back loop. Then we're gonna repeat this around. Need the next stitch through the back loop. Purl the next stitch through the back loop. Knit the next stitch through the back loop, purl next stitch through the back loop, and repeat. Knit the next stitch through the back loop, purl next stitch through the back loop. Alright, I'm gonna keep repeating this pattern around. I'm at the end of round one here. For round two, we're gonna replace the marker to the right needle. Then we're gonna repeat round one. We're gonna make one by one twisted rib. So basically, we're gonna make one by one twisted rib for four rounds. So knit the first stitch through the back loop, purl the next stitch through the back loop, knit the next stitch through the back loop, purl next stitch through the back loop. Knit the next stitch through the back loop, purl next stitch through the back loop. So I'm gonna do this for four rounds total. Then after that, I'm gonna buy off in pattern, which is one by one twisted buy off. Buy off exactly the same as the sleeve edge and then the sweater bottom edge here. And yeah, after that, I'm just gonna weave all my ends and I'm done with this sweater. Let me know in the comment below what you think about this knitted sweater. If you want to share your work with me, just tag me on Facebook or Instagram at Knit Crawl Addict. I'm going to put all the links in the description below. Bye-bye!